Six months ago, I created a tutorial that helped a lot of people to connect ManyChat to the ChatGPT and also add some smart features. However, in this video, I will show you much more improved, cost-efficient and faster integration. It will have conversation memory, multi-messaging functionality and much more easier setup. I'll also provide you with free templates so you can do that even without any technical skills. Let's jump into it. This is how our mini chat setup will look like. Nothing complicated, but still very powerful setup. It includes multi-messaging, so when people send two, three, four messages to you at once, you can aggregate them to the one message and send it to your AI system so it gives you one response back, not like five responses. It also still has conversation memory and will allow you to add custom document you could have to train your AI system. Just as previously, we will use make setup that will connect AI and many chat, but now we have only one shared sequence comparing to the two of them we had previously. It is much more reliable and cost efficient. I tested it with many clients. Uh, you see that I even have error handlers here. So probability of receiving the error, this percentage is very low. For AI itself, we will use OpenAI Assistant as I think this is very user friendly, also easy to set up and still will allow us to keep all of the functionality we want. Also, what I like about it is that you don't need to pay monthly subscriptions or anything. You just pay for tokens you spend. And here I also prepared Notion page where I have everything for you, mini chat template, make template, knowledge base document I will use in this video and prompt for my chatbot. Before we move towards building the solution together, please consider subscribing to the channel as I do my best to help you achieve results with AI and we'll continue doing it as soon as I have this channel running. So students, let's start with mini chat template. I will do it with you from zero so you can see how it will work. Here you see that we have the template and you need to click to save to many chat. So when you open this flow in your account, uh, when you transfer it to your account, it will look like this. And to be honest, for now, we don't need to do anything here because everything is done. That's why we can move to the next step. But before that, I would also uh, connect trigger right away. Uh, for that, let's go to settings to Instagram settings and for default reply, I will connect this flow. So it will be step one, something, something, Metronoric, and pick this automation. And now if you come back, you will see that here we have, as a trigger, we have uh, our default reply. So it will work for every message you want. If you want to make it work for specific users only, you can create a condition here that will determine, for example, if certain user has any tags and tags will determine who you want to send messages to or you don't. And based on this condition, you will send these messages only to the certain people. Now let's move to the make. From our Notion page, from our resources, uh, you need to download this file. You can click here on these three dots and you can download it. Now create your account in make if you haven't already. I'll probably also include some affiliate links here so you have some free months and uh, free uh, scenarios for the start. It will be wonderful for testing period. And here uh, in scenarios, create new scenario. And when you do this, you click here, you click import and you choose the file that I included into the resource page. And here you can see that we have everything. But here it will not be that easy because we will need to connect OpenAI many chat but i recommend leaving it as it is for now i'm not sure if make will allow us to save this no it will not so you just you can just leave your browser page as it is and we'll move to the open ai playground you can go to the platform.openai.com go to the dashboard and here you will have your assistants and you will need to create new assistant for my case it will be car renting company and our chatbot will be customer support assistant. It will not have any actions. However, if you want to include any actions to your AI system, for example, sending data to the CRM or saving data somewhere or retrieving any data from the external databases, you can watch my video that I will include somewhere here in the corner 
where I show how to build AI system that is similar to the AI agent. Or you can just book a call, consult with me, and we will decide what we can do for your specific case. So what I will do now, I will copy this and I will insert it to my system instructions. I understand that you could have another case for your business. So you can just take this structure, like you see that here I have examples, writing style rules, general rules, step-by-step -step answering process. So you can take this structure and you can reframe it by yourself or I don't know, with ChatGPT to fit your specific case and click save. I will go to the playground here. I will add the name Pro Car Customer Support and that's it. But this is not all because I want to include knowledge, knowledge base to my AI assistant. So I will enable file search and I will go to my file. I also included it uh, to the resources page. You see that it has good structure. I highly recommend you to keep your document also in the good structure because if it will be messy, then your AI will hallucinate. I will add my file here. Also the beauty of using OpenAI system that you don't need manually embed your documents as you would do it with Anytan or any more advanced, let's say, tools. Here you just insert your document, you click attach and everything is great. Before you move into the production or before you start testing it with your Instagram account, you can test your AI directly here. So I can type something like, uh, what's the rules for renting the car? Here, of course, in the testing playground, we don't have multi-messaging functionality. We have just one message and one response and we understand why. And here we have the answer. Hey, there, to rent a car. Here are the main things you need to keep in mind. So this formatting will be saved, I think. But you see these citations from the document right here. It will be removed in the final version. Now let's move back to make. In order to make it work, we need to connect every module to the account and check if everything works great. To connect ManyChat, we need to create a webhook. And in order to create the webhook, we need to create new connection. And here we need access token. To get this access token, go back to ManyChat, go to settings, and here in API, you will have your API access token. I will insert it. I will call it Pro Car Assistant. I will save it. And here I will do the same. So now we have our webhook. We click save and everything is great. And now we also need to connect this webhook to every ManyChat module we have here. As you see, we already have fields completed. We will need to change something. But for now, just connect your modules to your account. When ManyChat is connected, now we need to connect OpenAI Assistant. Click on the module. Here I already have the connection, but I will create a new one with you. Here we would need API key and organization ID. Go to the playground and here in your profile, you will find all of the data. In API keys, you will be able to create a new secret key and in general, you will find organization ID. Here you see that in the assistance field, I have a lot of assistants. For you, it will probably be only one. For my case, it's Pro Car Customer Support. Here you will insert message a bit later, click save and do the same with this. Here you will already have your connection, so just choose it. Now I think Make will allow us to save this flow. Yeah, it was saved, so we are safe. Now we need to cover all of the fields we have in these modules. And in order to receive test data, we need to run our webhook once. As you saw in ManyChat, here we have something that will trigger Make. And as soon as you connect your API to Make, you will have something like, let me show you, here it will be the panel with Make and you can trigger Make. And here you will need to choose a specific trigger. In our case, it's ProCar Assistant. Don't forget to update. Also, if you don't want uh, your AI to work during the testing, uh, I already turned this on previously, but you can turn this off if you're afraid that uh, this flow will work for your users. But for now, it's not that catastrophic. But anyway, you can turn this off. 
here you see that I have the delay of 15 seconds. You can, you can make it be longer if you want to make the illusion that human is answering, not the AI. For example, it can be one minute at least. Nothing will happen. For the case of testing, I will just put 10 seconds here so we, we can test it faster. I will update it and since we need to trigger make and to get some testing data, I will need to send the message to my Instagram account in order to get this data. So guys, look, step by step, this should be, turn, sh should be turned on and turn this on. Then I take my phone, I go to the messages with this account I have here. Okay guys, it's funny because I paused the video and I forgot to turn this on back. I already sent the message to my account, but I will do it again with you. It's funny. Here click wait for new data if you already have some people messaging you and I will send a message to this account I have here. And we see our data has arrived. And why we did this? We did this to fill in all of the fields we have in these modules. What we will do right now? Let's start with OpenAI. And here we see that for message, we need to include some field here. And this field will be aggregated message. Here we should go to the custom fields and look for aggregated message. And this will be our aggregated message. Click save here. Here we will do the same, but we will also include uh, thread ID. So custom fields, aggregated message, okay. And here in thread ID, I will look for thread ID field and it's here. Click save. Here in our router, we will do the same. We will add the field we have here. Thread ID, click save. Here we don't need to do anything. So okay, in text parser, I think we have everything right. Okay, here we have result. And let's move to the many chat module. Here in field ID, it can be tricky because if you have another name for your field, which is uh, thread ID, let me check my field. What name does it have? Okay, here it says assistant thread ID, so it's okay. I will click on this because you know, it saves data from the template. And here basically for field ID, now we map it. So we have specific ID. And ID from the template will be another ID from the field ID you have in your account. So make sure you just see here if you don't have any fields, uh, other fields. I I think you will need to click thread ID just as me to this variation of this field and it will be great. Here we have field value already filled in. So yeah, uh, in response, we have everything covered. Here in field ID, also the same situation. Just make sure you don't have any other fields responsible for our AI answer, click save. And many chat send flow, we will do a bit later. Just let's check this module. Okay, it's okay, click save. And seems like we have almost everything. Don't forget to click save here. And what's with many chat send flow? For this module, we will need to do something manually. I'll have already step two here prepared, but I will delete this and create everything with you. So here, new automation, start from scratch. Previous setup that we had six months ago, we had two scenarios in make. Now we simplify things and we make two flows in ManyChat. ManyChat doesn't charge you for running flows, it's, it does charge you for a uh, number of contacts you have. So this is just a small detail. Here, uh, I will call it uh, step two sending the answer. The only thing we should do here is to click on the send message for our Instagram and include here the variable that is called AI answer. And this is it. So what we do here in this flow, we just send the answer. We generate it in make. In make, we change the field, which is AI answer. And after that, we trigger this flow from make and it will send our AI answer to the user. Don't forget to set this leaf. And here in the link, you need to copy this content number. Copy it and in many chat send flow module, insert it to the flow ID. The same with this module. And seems like we are done here. Let me only recheck. So we have everything in make. I will turn this on. 
I will delete all data. Yes, delete. Yeah, I hope it's working. Here we also have everything working. Temperature one. Okay, we will leave it as it is. And in many chat we have this system leave. And also our first system is working. We have our trigger turned on. We have trigger connected here. So yeah, seems like seems like we have done everything. So now let's do a bit of testing. Also, I will probably change uh, delay here to 15 seconds so we can fully test it. And let's see how it works. As you have seen, I haven't played a lot with prompt. But yeah, functionality itself must work. Hello, I'm interested in renting. How I can reach out to you? Guys, something highly unexpected happened because uh, I ha on this account, I had some sort of AI system set up. The account I reach out from, and you see that I talk to the chatbot <laughs> we have right now. And here I had some messages sent from my account automatically. So yeah, messed up a bit. So in answer, we had here something like had there. If you're looking to rent a car with us, contact us here. Uh, if you want to book right now, just share your full name, phone number. Okay. So yeah, it messed up here, but I think we will able to continue testing. Uh, let's see what questions we can ask. Okay, let's ask something about uh, age limit. What's the age limit for renting a car and when do we work? Also remember a video tutorial uh, from one AI systems developer when he also had something like two agents talking to each other and he hasn't noticed the thing and his systems in tokens spent like, I don't know, hundreds of dollars, maybe even thousands. So yeah, guys, if you're developers, just be cautious. Here we have to rent a car with us, you need to be at least 21 years old, uh, something for luxury cars. And we see that uh, all of the information works really great. I also like uh, its uh, tone of writing. Of course, there are a lot of emojis, but you can easily remove it in the prompt. Like there is not a big problem with that. Also, I don't like exclamation marks a lot, so I would probably also reduce them. You can play and tweak your prompt as you want. Just remember that the behavior of your AI systems depend on your prompt directly. If you plan to build more advanced solutions, reach out to me and we'll go through the discovery call where we will determine how AI can help your business. Thank you for your time and see you in my next videos.